we are so used to seeing the royals prim and proper. But just like everyone else, this family has their own quirks and hobbies that seem a little unroyal, but totally relatable. From nail biting to binge watching TV, these royals know how to be strangely normal. So yeah, we do we're a bit box heady, you know, when we get time in the evenings What's to watch. Kitty's doing bad? Number one, the king with two birthdays. Celebrating your birthday twice a year is a royal tradition that dates back to 1748. When the sovereign's birthday isn't in the summer, they celebrate it again in the summer to truly enjoy the festivities with the public. While for us regular folks, celebrating your birthday twice a year just seems like you're doing too much. But for the royals, it's almost expected because it's tradition. And every year, thousands of people pay to witness the trooping of the color. King Charles' actual birthday is November 14th, but maybe he'll follow in his mother's footsteps and celebrate it again in June, when the weather is more appealing for the parade and balcony appearance. Number two, the royal dog breed. We all know the queen loved her corgis. They went wherever she could take them, especially for meet and greets at the palace. But she took that love one step further when she and Princess Margaret invented their own dog mix. It all began with a puppy love story. One of the queen's corgis named Tiny and Princess Margaret's dash hound Pipkin fell in love and had a dorgy. The queen and her sister loved the adorable furball so much they decided to continue making more. Their newfound hobby of breeding royal dorgies led to a squad of about 10 dorgy pups over the years. Number three, the mooning princess. Before Princess Kate was a princess and married to the literal heir of the throne, she was just a regular schoolgirl that loved to pull pranks and have a good time with friends. Now, I'm sure you wouldn't expect to hear a royal turning the other cheek, so to speak. But alas, while Kate Middleton attended Marlborough College, she reportedly loved to moon her fellow classmates from her dorm windows, earning her a cheeky nickname. Since becoming a princess, she's left those prankster days behind her. Following royal protocol means Princess Kate's public mooning days are over. Number four, warm biscuits. We all have interesting snacks we love that not everybody understands. But for King Charles, it's how his after meal snack is prepared for him that's a little quirky. He likes biscuits and cheese after most meals, except lunch because the king doesn't believe in lunch. Now this snack seems pretty normal, biscuits and cheese, like crackers and cheese, which is a pretty common snack. The strange bit is the fact that King Charles will not eat his cheese and biscuits unless they're warmed to a specific temperature. Yes, he likes to indulge in warm cheese and biscuits so much that his staff have to keep a warming pan nearby to heat up his snack. Sounds lovely. Number five, Surfing Prince. The future king knows how to hang 10 and used to regularly spend summers in Cornwall in a wetsuit and on a board. It's been a few years since he was photographed surfing, but it feels a little hard to imagine the father of three and future king on the back of a board riding the waves. But that's exactly how he chose to spend his bachelor weekend, surfing and staying at an 800-year-old manor. He's not the only royal that loves to catch a wave, as Prince William and Prince Harry surf together, and even King Charles has been known to be a surfer. The love for water sports clearly runs in the family. Number six, Prince in the South Pole. Prince Harry has always been rather adventurous, and one thing he made history as the first prince to compete a 200-mile trek to the South Pole. In 2013, he joined a group of 12 wounded veterans from Britain and the Commonwealth and the United States. It started off as a competition between countries, but the conditions became too dangerous and required the group to work together to make it to the end. But Harry wasn't bothered about the negative 50 Fahrenheit weather or heavy winds if it meant trekking for a good cause. But this wasn't just a one-time thing. Trekking the poles is a hobby for Harry, who had started a similar expedition to the North Pole, but had to leave early to attend his brother's wedding. Number seven, Billy the Basher. It may come as a surprise to you, but Prince William wasn't always the calm, cool, and collected future king we see today. In fact, William reportedly used to get into quite a bit of mischief growing up, earning him the nicknames Billy the Basher and Basher Wills while he was in school. He used to get into playground fights and jump the queue at lunch. Princess Diana also reportedly referred to him as a holy terror who broke everything in sight. It's a good thing he's calmed down over the years and has outgrown his former nicknames. Number eight, Prince William loves TV. 
The prince and princess are just like everyone else. They enjoy quality time at the end of a long day after their kids have gone to bed with a box set of binge-worthy TV. And if that's not normal enough for you, the royal couple also enjoys a takeout with their box seats. Their choice of food, Prince William says, is always hard, but it's usually a curry for cake. But Prince William can't handle the spice. Now, of course, they can't have their food delivered to the palace. They're still royals. They have to have someone pick it up for them. But how strangely cool is it that the prince and princess like to order in and watch TV? We've watched Homeland. We're yeah. big fans of Homeland. Um, Game of Thrones we've watched as well. Number 9. Meghan Markle's Bad Habits Everyone has a bad habit they're trying to quit, but some bad habits are a struggle. Unless you become a royal, then you find the need to quit them. For Meghan Markle, she wrote in her former lifestyle blog, The Tig, that every year her New Year's resolutions are to stop biting her nails and stop swearing. And every year they stay on the list because she doesn't quite manage to stop. It's so relatable, but it's hard to imagine a royal biting their nails or using choice language in public. So it's a good thing Meghan was focused on breaking those habits before she even met Prince Harry. Number 10. Cattle Ranch Prince Prince Harry is a jackaroo, also known as a cowboy. Well, at least he was for three months. After the prince graduated from Eton College in 2003, he decided to take a break from his royal duties by taking a gap year. And of all the things, he decided to work and live on a 16,000 hectare cattle ranch in the outback of Queensland, Australia. He worked gathering cattle and mending fences, working from 7.30 in the morning to 6 p.m. And he even earned $212.63 a week. Harry's love for the cowboy life is still alive and well as he was spotted at a rodeo in Texas in March 2022 almost 20 years after his initial cowboy training in Australia. Number 11, Iron Shoelaces. It's no surprise King Charles grew up living a rather pampered life. As a prince, he was known as the Pampered Prince because of all the basic things he has done for him. This is one king that doesn't believe in DIY. King Charles had his clothes laid out for him every day in order of how he dresses himself. He also has his valet squeeze an inch of toothpaste on his brush ready for him every morning. But the rather quirky detail to his fashion and styling is that the king likes his shoelaces pressed flat with an iron. Didn't think ironing shoelaces would ever be a thing, but anything for the king. Number 12. Secret Handshake Personal handshakes have been cool since before Lindsay Lohan's iconic parent trap routine, so much so that the Duchess created one when she was eight years old to do with her mom, and they still remember it till this day. Even Megan agreed on an episode of her podcast, Archetypes. It's a little quirky, but it's a quirk she shares with her mother. There's something about strange habits that connects people, and this list of royals quirks makes us feel a little closer to the royals. Which royal family quirk or strange hobby do you relate to most? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to The Things Celebrity for more on your favorite royals.